Hello, hello. How is everyone? Happy Monday. Just putting the last of the water in the um, tank. All right, that's done. Let me see if I can pull this up on the iPad. Let's see if we can find it. Yep, there it is. Let me make sure it's turned down. Yay, it works on the first try. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hello, Ramona. How are you today? Happy Monday. I finally get to the fun part of Monday. I just poured this in. Hi, Margie. Welcome, welcome. Did everyone have a good day today? It was very much a Monday at the office. But that's all right. I get to now come home and do this. Get those bubbles off the surface and just like that so hello everyone for anyone who's new hi Shelly welcome my my new tumbler shipped today so I'll let you know as soon as I get them thank you Ramona thank you so if anyone is new my name is Linda Anderson I own aqueous silk LLC. Um, I am a water marbling artist. I do hats, including bling that you can see here. Hats and scarves and uh, leather, um, all kinds of things. I will always attempt to marble whatever it is. And if you want notifications when I go live, please um, touch anywhere on the screen. Three buttons, three dots will pop up right here if I can speak. Hi, Rachel. Hi, Rebecca. Those three, touch those three dots. Hey, Becky. I haven't done my sprinkling yet. Um, touch those three dots. Uh, it'll give you the opportunity to turn on your notifications so every time I go live, you'll know about it. How are you doing, Becky? So let me, um, thank you, I appreciate it. That's just what I am going to do. Thank you, Becky. Okay. Sorry, I'm slow when I'm typing on my iPad. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Shelly, I appreciate it. Hi, Vanessa. Hello, everyone. So before we get started, I wanted to show you, hopefully it will show well, I'm not sure. Um, this is one of the completed ornaments. It has been sealed. Hi, Colleen. The, when I seal them, it absolutely makes the colors pop. I was just squealing with delight. Thank you, Colleen. Hi, Angela. Well, thanks for coming in. They are so pretty. They are so pretty. I am so excited. So if I, oops, I'm going to be doing some fun things tonight, probably some things you have not seen yet. Um, <clears throat> I have, uh, this is a sample of my stemmed wine glasses that I marble. We're gonna be doing some stemmed glasses tonight. I thought I had some uh, stemless glasses, but I can only find one, that and a beer glass, and I didn't prep those. But look at this one. 
And these are all singles. Thank you. And then one more. I had a little incident at one of my shows and I broke several of them. I had, hello Warren. I had some, uh, I had some pears, but. And then of the green ones, somebody bought just one glass. So that's all right. But anyway, we're gonna be doing those tonight. I have four wine glasses to do. I'll do two and two. And then I also have my challenge project that I forgot to do last week. This is my A. I got this from Wood, Woods Bits and Pieces, Jenny Sanchez. Look her up and give her a follow. She does awesome, awesome work. She cuts these by hand with a scroll saw. So I have it all taped up because I want all the swirls. I'm gonna paint that one color and then I wanna marble the A. Hello, Louise. So that's my thought. Hello, Marina. So that's what we're gonna do first. And then I'll do the um, wine glasses and then I'll move back and finish my, um, my ornaments. This time I am going to uh, Marble them first, let them dry, then I will do the glitter inside so I don't have to rest them on the sticks and have it kind of scratch that that um, glitter. Because I, I didn't really think about that when I was doing it the last time around. So anyway, so let me turn you down and let's get started. We'll do the letter first, and I'm hoping that all the tape is gonna keep the paint out in that area. But let, hold on, if this bothers you, look away. I'm gonna turn the screen down. Oops. It's backwards for me. No, no earrings tonight, Marina. I just had, I have so many things to do. I had a special order on a pillow cover. So I cut and did some satin and did some sewing this weekend. I have one other thing I am trying and I should get the hardware for it tomorrow. And then I will show you, um, probably I'll go live from the show if I have time. I have a show this Saturday. So let's see, let's see. See if I can get the whole tank in here. No, I've got to go the other way. This flipping it back and forth, it just confuses me. Thank you, Vanessa. I appreciate that. There we go, that's pretty good. Now I'm beginning to smell this. I let it set out all day. When I do glass, I like my water warm. It's still not super warm, but it's not as cold as it normally is when I work. So now I need to decide what color I'm going to do this. I think I will, oh, what do I want to do? Let's do, Couldn't find the white that was right in front of me. So let's do my second favorite color combination. Let's do white, pink, and red. Bright pink or dark pink. Yeah, I know. I'd like I need to get some more jewelry going, but I tell you, I it's just there's so much to do and so little time to do it that I need a paper towel. That it's hard and I know um I need to adjust my pattern. I think I made the earrings just too big. And I don't know if it's just me or if it's actually too big cuz I don't like super huge earrings and I've tried to wear a pair and they drove me nuts. So wood is a very porous surface, so I wanna really load up the paint here. Let 
And I need to remember when I go to put this in the water that I don't want it to um, get a bubble. So I'm gonna have to do it at an angle. Boy, we have had some, some fog, fog, fog. Yeah, I could have a lot, lots of colors. I really, really enjoy doing, um, I s have sold a lot of the Idaho shaped earrings and I'm all out of the uh, wood blanks for that. I need to get myself some more. I don't know why this one Yeah, I know, I need to really get it done so I can print in the blanks. I thought about it the other day and then I didn't do it. I have all these, um, I did prep some of the bracelets so I can marble those in the blanks today. And yeah, I know Marina, I should make earrings and bracelets to match. But I just have not had the time to uh, cut them. I haven't even cut any cards. I think I'm going to give up for uh, and skip Christmas because it's kind of late for that now. Come on, come out of there. I do have blank cards, but I have not. I just literally ran out of time. I'm trying to get the house decorated and all of that. I had four days I cooked, of course, on Thanksgiving. Did everyone have a nice Thanksgiving? I actually have a piece of the faux leather that I use. Oh, this is being very, very stubborn. I don't know why. So we'll leave that alone. Let me just make sure there's nothing clogging it. Now let's try. There we go, look at that. We had a nice quiet one. I cooked, as usual, I cooked all the stuff. It was just myself and my husband this year. And um, I did kind of take it easy. I finished a crocheted blanket on um, Thursday and I'm about halfway through another one. So when I do f try to sit down and, um, yeah, it takes a special machine, uh, Marina, to cut leather dies. And uh, I don't have the money for that. I do cut it on my Cricut. But I still just need the time. There's not enough hours in the day to get everything finished. I barely get home in time to eat something real quick and do this at night. So, I think I was saying something, but anyway, I, uh, when I'm sitting down in the evenings trying to relax, because I have to wind down, I can't go from directly from creating to uh, bed or I don't sleep. Ideas just flood my head. So, um, I sit there and I'll watch whatever, whether we have a game on or um, Hallmark movies or whatever, and uh, crochet. I don't sit still very well, so that get, makes me feel like I'm doing something. This one that I'm working on now, I had started some time ago and I had to um, take out a few stitches to remember how I was doing it. All right, I just don't know why this one doesn't want to, I want more color in there. I got my uh, garlands hung and then I realized that I should have filled them with all the fun things first 
So I've got a box of ribbons that I used last year. Well, my, my maker does it just fine, but it depends on the leather. Not all leather will do that. Okay, that's, we're gonna call that good. Let me get a, a magic wand. I'm just gonna free form this. This is acrylic paint. <clears throat> I'm gonna lose my voice tonight. Acrylic paint, it has been thinned a little bit. And, and I can't tell you how much you need to thin it because it always depends upon the paint color itself. Each one is different. It behaves different on different days. All right, that's what we're gonna go with. <clears throat> I have to find a spot to put this thing. Let's see. I guess I'll put it on here. On a piece of parchment paper. All right. So I want to make sure I get it the right way. And I don't know that it's gonna matter because I'm gonna to have to put it in at an angle. And so it will marble both sides. Oh boy, here we go. Jenny, if you're watching. Hello, Eleanor. So, and now I never know why, sometimes the white shows on the, hello Connie, sometimes the white will show on the wood and sometimes it does not. I think it really depends upon the kind of wood. So there's the front and there's the back, which I'm not really concerned with the back. It does look pretty, but that's not my main concern. So I am going to just, Set it right on this piece of paper, and I don't have anything to rinse my hands on today. So we'll just wipe them off, and then I'm going to go set it in the um, bathroom over here. So I don't end up stepping on it. Oh, here, I'll put it right here. I can't wait to see when I take the tape off how that's gonna look now I know I could reuse this I don't like you can kind of see how it's you probably can't see thanks Colleen thanks Ramona you may be able to see that these the paint is moving towards the center where I put the letter in and there's all these little cracks and I don't want those little cracks. So we're disposing of this paint. <laughs> no, but I didn't like the way the paint was on the surface. I would not use it even if I had earrings cut. I thought about using it for a bracelet, but I did not like the way it looks. Plus, I didn't, I probably can't do a bracelet. I didn't bring any rinse water. And the leather does have to be rinsed. So I guess I cannot do that tonight. Okay, let's clean it one more time. This is just newsprint. This is from March 5th, 2020. So you never know what headline you're going to see when I put the newsprint down. All right. That looks pretty good. There's still a little bit of pink right here. Uh, 
Um, if you've been following for a while, you know uh, my youngest daughter wants to become a vet. She graduated this last summer or spring with her master's degree in animal science. And uh, so far, she has two interviews for uh, two different schools for next fall. So I think we have about... <laughs> Need to, we. I keep saying we. We get to hear from, um, I think there's like four or five more schools to which she applied, so. I just see a little bit of pink right there. I think it might be under the surface, but I'm going to dab it one more time. Yeah, see, there's just a little bit of pink on that. Now, for the wine glasses. What, thank you, Margie. What um, colors do you think I should do? You know, I don't have any purples. Let's answer my own question and do purples. I have three purples here. Let me find the white. Here's the white. I finally found my bag of... Thank you, Colleen. We're pretty excited. Hello, Lori. Um... I think I'll do a blue set as well. This one is has blue. Actually, both of these have blue on them. This is a blue and red. It has a little bit of green on it. And then this is a light blue and blue and red. Yes, I agree. I know she will. I just I just want her to have options. I mean, ideally, she has an interview at the neighboring school that's right, literally, 12 miles from where she is. And that would be ideal because she wouldn't have to move. She's already attended that campus before. You know, stuff like that. She knows a lot of the professors already. That's both good and bad. Her boyfriend wouldn't have to, you know, transfer or look for work in a new area. All right. Now, if you haven't noticed, I do have stars available now. I just got them today. I was so surprised. I went to go live and it says, do you want to activate your stars? And I'm like, oh my goodness. A lot of my friends had them, but I had never had them before. And the stars, I get just a little bit of money out of it. I haven't read all the details. I'm only going off of what others have said. So I just get, it's just like pennies. But that's okay. It all adds up. And if you sprinkle out this video, I would appreciate it. I'm still trying to grow my page. I'm almost to 2,200 um, followers. So I've got quite a ways to go to reach my goal. Is this the one I already did? All right. So now I want to come in with some of this other purple. Whoops, let's use this one instead. A penny a star. Whoops, I'll take it. And it's just fine if you don't as well. I just am not going to worry about it. I just was excited to see that I have them now. Okay, so let's... 
minutes. Uh, do I want to try to comb this pattern and print that? I don't think I've done that. Let's do it. I'm in the mode, apparently, of asking and answering my own questions tonight. So I'm just moving this back and forth. I just love this. It's so relaxing. Just that feel of the paint as you're pushing your uh, skewer through. And I also have to decide how far up on the glass that I want to go. Now on these, I only did the stem. It, right here where this white is, the bottom of this white is where the paint ends but I could come up a little bit farther. Now the line may not be perfectly even, so I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Shelly. Thank you, Colleen. All right. I try to run my pinkies along the uh, tank. That way I don't put the comb too far down into the paint and start pulling it with the um, foam core. I just want to use the pins. And this is a very, very technical tool. This is a piece of foam cord. I have straight pins just stuck in there. I measured the intervals, put the pins in there, and then I hot glued along there. That's how technical this tool is. All right, so now, of course, I need to do a swirl. All right, let me go and get one of the glasses. Hi, Kimberly. So it's just a regular wine glass with a stem. Okay, there we go. I went up just a little bit. Now I set my glassware on a uh, floral frog, to, so there's just some little pins that hold it on the bottom. Let me grab another one. Okay, so now we'll go over here. Try not to drip on my ornaments that are over here ready to be marbled. Hopefully that one doesn't slide off. Let me reposition it. There we go. And it looks like I got this, well, I may have gone a little higher on one than I did the other. Let's see, should I try to do an ornament in there? I can do the whole glass, Ramona. I just like to keep it down because I spray seal, so I try to keep it away from the lip. Sometimes on the um, stemless glasses, I just tape around the uh, lip a little bit 
and um, you know, I it's just the width of a piece of electrical tape that I tape it off. So then nobody has to put their mouth on that sealer. I think it's perfectly fine. I don't think there's anything there that's that's to be concerned with, but I know I I just like to do it that way. All right, let me find an ornament. Which one do I want to do? Let's use this one. This is just a textured white one. Let's go right in here. Now I have to be careful with this. So this is, is doing what I thought it might do. Where's my other container? Oh, it's right there. Since I pulled some out of this, it was breaking up and that texture is showing on this, uh, this ball, the ornament. I can just hear everybody when I said that. I hear everybody at uh, Crafters Convention going, balls, hey, Stony, how are you? Welcome. Did you see? I got stars today. What'd that say? Oh, okay. Well, maybe we'll go. I don't, I didn't tape any of them up this time. So we can't do that this time. I've got to get more glasses. I really want to get some stemless. But as with most everything, they've been hard to find. So see how all of that is moving out? There was more color right here in this corner and you can literally see it moving. It's trying to fill the, the surface. Thank you, Louise. So I have two more. And since I did not tape them off, we're not, we're not gonna do the whole thing. Hi, Cindy, welcome. Just trying to get all of this purple out of here. Thought it'd be fun to have um, some pretty glasses for the show this weekend. So that's why I I've had them purchased for a few weeks, but I kept forgetting to. <laughs> Am I the only one that buys things and brings them home and leaves them in the bag and then promptly forgets they have them? And then every time I'm marbling, it's like, dang, I forgot to do those. Forgot to prep them again. And I can't just run and grab them and marble them. They have to be prepped. All right. I forgot to bring my water in here. Now, what color do you think we should do for the other two? Oh, I'm glad I'm not the only one, Michelle. <laughs> I have, we bought some new Christmas decorations. Last year we bought a great big tree. I just love it, it's huge. And we just never have never had a tree that big before, so I didn't have enough to fill it. So when Christmas came out, when it was on sale, we kind of gathered some and it's all right in the, the living room in front of the, the TV credenza. Oh, Stony, thank you. Those are my first stars. Thank you. Oh, I feel so special now. I got stars. Okay, what colors, guys, do we want to do? Oh, how about, how about we do some, don't you hate it when I do that? I stop and start. Some orange and yellow. Do you think that would be pretty? Uh, 
Now that my thing is hunting colors. Yep, I always am doing that. Well, and they're all sitting in a bin, and I look down on them like this, and some of them have the bands to determine which which uh, brand they are, because I have to keep them together. And then, so I start to go for one, and it's the wrong brand, and just give them a little shake. So I think this is what we'll do this time. And I'll start with, I think I have a lighter yellow, actually. I do, I do. So I think instead of white, we'll start with this light yellow, and then I will add black and gold. That would be pretty. Again, I can't do, um, I cannot do a metallic gold, and I bought a new gold, but um, I haven't mixed it yet. And the one I was, would use is, black and gold is my, the uh, University of Idaho color, so that's always a good one for me. I will never turn down black and gold. Black can be a tough one to use, because I like the black in one, one uh, paint, paint brand, and then uh, the gold in a different one. So, and that doesn't work. All right, here we go. So we're putting this down in, instead of white. Just, I can't help but look at those purple ones. I think they turned out very pretty. Now we'll do the orange. Again, I keep asking and then I'm just making my own choices tonight. Thank you, Stony. I did remember to ask that. But I would appreciate it if you would sprinkle out the video. Stoney asked Michelle if she needs some marbled wine glasses in the store. Now this is a bright yellow. And then we will do this reddish orange. And I think I'm gonna come in one more time with this, this bright orange. So oh, this is pretty. All right, there we go. We're just free forming this one. We had a little bit of, uh, it was kind of sleet, but I'm calling it snow on Saturday. We were up at our storage unit um, pulling out our Christmas things. And uh, we have we had a horse trailer that we used when our girls were in 4-H. And we'd just been storing things in it. And my brother wanted to buy it, so we had to unload that. And of course, that's the time it chose to kind of sleet, rain, snow on us. But I wasn't gonna complain. So let me go get the wine glass. Does anybody use beer glasses? Because I can do some of those too. And I can only do four glasses at a time because I only have four frogs. Actually, I think I have two more, but I don't know where they are. All right, here's.
here's the last glass. Oh, they're so pretty. All right, so there they are sitting to dry. And I am gonna clean this off because it's starting to break apart. And I want nice solid colors on the ornaments, so those are next. Oh, 80 degrees. No, thank you, ma'am. I am so excited for the cool weather, and I just cannot wait for our next snowstorm. I am ready for winter. I love the change of the seasons. Okay, let's do this one more time. Hi, Lisa. How are you tonight? Let's see if I can get just one piece here. Okay, so now we're moving on to the ornaments. I can't believe we're to ornaments already. I posted today a reel showing the, um, oh, that's what I'm in full prep mode for my show on Saturday, Lisa. <laughs> I love winter. I love summer. I love it all. All right. So there we go. So now we're on to the ornaments. What color shall we do? I haven't mixed. Oh, I, one thing I have in my bag is um, those are empty. I bought a uh, metallic silver. I have not mixed it yet. But that's okay because I can use I can use, um, oh, I just don't know if I want to risk it. Hey, I haven't used this brand. This is yet another brand of paint. See how it's marked differently from the others? I got in trouble. I posted the um, purple and gold ornaments, and one of my friends, if you, I grew up right near the border of Washington and Idaho, and so I was always, always have been, was raised to be a Washington State Cougars fan. That's even before my daughter attended there, and um the Huskies of University of Washington on the other side of the state is purple and gold. And my friend, she, she was going, how could you do purple and gold? Oh my gosh. I had to laugh. I'm going, I didn't even think about it actually. But, uh, so I have to do some crimson and gray. And I'll put silver glitter in it. Again, all the ornaments that I do tonight, they're clear, but they will have uh, glitter inside them. I guess not all of them are clear. I do have a few of them that are not. See, I'm just getting the, some of this paint that's hiding out right at the edge. It's all um, acrylic paint. I use various brands of acrylic paint. Let me get another paper towel. So out of these, I hope to get one large one and two small ones when I print this tank. 
I was reading a little bit today at lunch and someone um, was saying that sometimes the ink on the newsprint will contaminate your tank and uh, you'll have trouble getting a nice print. I have never had that happen, but um, all right. I thought that was very interesting. Some people use a piece of wood to pull the color off. I've always just used, I learned to use a newsprint and I've always used the newsprint. So let's see how this brand is gonna work today. This white has a little bit of iridescence in it. And see, it's not really uh, thin enough because it, it shouldn't leave dots like that. It should spread a little quicker. I think I'll put a little water in it while I'm just standing right here. And again, I use uh, drinking water in the little water bottles for this. Whew. Water bottles. Almost dropped a glove in there while well, that's doing its thing and it needs to disperse. And I'll just put just a couple drips. This is supposed to be the consistency of 2% milk is what they say. It always feels like it's getting way too thin. Uh, in the water, it just thickens it. I use a little bit of seaweed powder. It just thickens it a little bit so it supports the paint. You thin the paint down a little bit and give it, uh, some paints take a lot more coaxing to float and some float very easily. Okay, so let's add the crimson. Lisa, if you're, Lisa uh, Martin, if you're watching, see, I can do Coog colors too. Now, I have not tried to marble an ornament with this paint brand yet, so we'll see. And see how that's pushing that white back together? So we're... We are floating very nicely. Every The color is behaving for me. I just never know day to day what colors are not going to work. So let me give it a minute. See, this white is still trying to disperse. So I need to, I thinned it down a little and that's good. Here's a little bubble. Bubbles are not our friends. Okay, let's go ahead and move this. Hopefully the, some of that will uh, kind of break up as I move it. This is a really pretty cut. If I had time, I'd run in and get my jersey and see how close it is to, uh, or my sweatshirt, and see how close it is to the actual crimson color. Okay, again, I hope to get one large one and two small ones from this tank. I just moved a stick into the drying bin. Now see there's a big clump right there that was not uh, 
dispersed well. Yeah, and there's another one. So I'm not liking that at all. And some of that could be under. It's just hovering on those darker gray dots. It's just hovering under the surface. So I think I'm going to go put this in the sink and I will rinse this one off. I rinsed it and it didn't even come off look at this the some of the globs did a little bit but that's just gonna let the silver show through a little bit more I like it I'm gonna keep it and that was under I wasn't even careful that was under the tub the the faucet on the tub So I'm fairly certain all these, do you see these little dots right here? The water's too, too murky. Sometimes I can look at it and I can tell that there is a little glob of paint hanging under there. So I'm just going to come through and break these up. So now I want to get two small ones in here. Sorry, I'm concentrating. Whoops. It's not a paper towel. Oh, the glasses look so pretty. There's not, a, when I don't wrap the glasses with tape, there's not, um, a, a, there won't be a nice fine straight line, a hard line. There are, it's kind of a very organic line. Okay, so now let's get two little ones. Let me get some sticks over here. Whoop, that's what I'm using. I have a pile of skewers over here. I For some of them, I have to wrap the tips in uh, tape to make them fit well, but these are all too big. Now, I'll just let these everything sit where it is until it's dry. I don't try to move anything. Okay, here's one little one. Yeah, the paint just, it, everyone is different. And I don't use this brand that often. So it, I really wasn't sure how it was going to behave on the water and with the ornaments. So one more. See now this has one big glop on it. We'll see if that kind of runs off. And I'm just dropping these right over the, the uh, end of the stick. All right, there's my set of three. So I will pull this off. And I know it looks like there's a lot of paint right there, but that's okay. You know, every time you work with new paints, it um, you learn so much. And if I was smart, I would keep a journal 
for each color in each brand but I never think about that when I'm working. And then I get home and we'll go, now which color did that? Which one was that? And then I have to start over. And then as soon as I use that color again, I'll go, oh yeah. Hi Linda, welcome. Thanks Margie. Again, trying to get that paint off. All right, now what color should we use? I want to try to get, the paints don't play well together generally, so I want to get as much of the paint out as I can. to get all of that paint that's sitting on the edge. So I need to keep that the gray and the white out and add a little coax to it. Now I made bubbles, so now I have to clear those off. I know this cleaning the tank is not the most exciting thing but it is necess necessary. All right. Okay, any colors, any color recommendations for an ornament? Purple and yellow. Let's see. I'm not going to use the deep purple because that one sometimes likes to bleed. So I'll use the medium one. And then I'll use, um, how about these two? The medium purple and the, uh, this is the brighter yellow. No, this is the lighter, the lighter yellow. Teal. Oh, yes, I do want to do teal, Margie. So we'll do, we'll do a set like this. And I have some glass ornaments in here as well. But all the ones I'm doing right now are shatterproof, a.k.a. plastic. I just cannot get over how pretty this turned out. I just keep looking at these. This is our goal. After I marble all the ones tonight, they will have glitter added to them. Yeah, blue. I have a couple blues. I haven't done a dark blue though. So let's see, I need this white. Stay. Oh, they all turned out so pretty. I put them on their tree yesterday and I did some, I did take some photographs I um, have not posted them all. Again, I like you, the colors are more vibrant if you have a lot of paint in the tank. But I still, when I'm doing ornaments, I don't care if it's full because um, I want some open space for that glitter to show through. Okay. And then a little bit of yellow. Oh, this is looking like dog's colors again. Don't tell my friend Lisa. I think let's pull this one. I have um, 
one more piece of satin that I've marbled and it needs to be stitched into a pillow cover. I had a lady buy one and then she wanted a second one. So I did that this weekend. But I made, while I was doing um, the long pieces, I thought I may as well do a couple of them. I did one out of the cotton the other day. It's, I've never done a cotton pillowcase or pillow cover. I don't know why. All right. Keep that. All right, let's do, um, let's try it. Let's do it without moving the paint again. It's all, it's just taking all I can give to not swirl this. And this one would be pretty with some uh, purple glitter in it. Oh, I forgot to get myself a stick. I'm trying hard not to drip paint all over the rug in here. I have plastic under the, the, it's just a little throw rug, but I still. Thank you, Lisa. Hey, let me get the stick in for the third one before I forget. Okay. Oh, these are so, so fun. Hello, Hazel. <laughs> oh, you're cracking me up, Marina. Oh, it's looking so pretty. All right, there's that one. So now let's use teal. What should we put with teal? Shall I do just teal and white? Does anybody use teal on their tree? What color um, do they have with it? So see how that moves in from out on the edges and starts to move towards the center? Teal and purple, teal and pink, teal and orange. That's a combination I haven't tried yet. I was thinking teal with black might be pretty. But I'm afraid, to, yeah, a dark blue, yeah. I'm afraid that um, there's so much pigment in a black that it really might want to run. Let's see what we can do here. I know I'm gonna have to use some white on this one. 
trying to keep my colors organized. This is just an amazing teal. Oh, that would be pretty stony. I don't have a good brown. I have one, but it's not mixed. I lost, when I came back from Illinois, I lost my bottles. I just found two of them. Yeah, I just don't have a good brown. I had a beautiful sepia tone. That would I want to do a scarf in teal and brown. That would be gorgeous. So let's use How about these two in white? I need to find some more bottles. I have one bottle that leaks and I really need to get it uh switched into a new bottle. And so that will take one of the two that I have. Okay, let's... This color is so pretty. Look at that. Isn't that just a gorgeous color? Let's pray that it does not run. Yep. I hear Gonzaga basketball on my TV. All right, we're gonna go with just that. I could add more and make this a little bit darker blue, but I think I'm okay with the lighter blue. Because that'll uh, really show, let the glitter sparkle through. All of them really do though. Oh yeah, that's right. Gonzaga is playing Tarleton State. That is a college uh, that we looked at. It's uh, in Texas, in right at the edge of hill country. And my daughter loved it, we loved it, but she ended up up here in the Northwest, which makes me happy since this is where I grew up. All right. So let's hope to get three. Hopefully that worked. I didn't hear it ding. Hold on. Well, it's plugged in, so let's hope it works. So two more, two little ones.
They are very pretty, Stony. Can you see how the texture on the white is on this one? I can't turn my hand enough. It's right there. Where is it? I'm out of the... Okay, let me grab one more. Okay, this is a glass one. I can't do it left-handed. I don't have a good grip on this one. I'm gonna have to do it left-handed. See, you can see it there. Can you see that? Uh, am I in the, can you see the texture on that? That's what happens when you start pulling the paint out. Oh, that took so pretty. go put it up to dry oh those are so pretty that was a great combination I can't wait to get the glitter in there all right so I have one two Three, four, five big ones, and one, two, three, four, five. I have a bunch of little ones. Let's do, let's do something I don't normally do. I'm gonna dump a little bit more. Well, not dump. Sprinkle a little bit more paint in here, and I'm gonna do some of the plastic white ones in this same colorway. Now see why I don't really like the way that looks right there, but I'll just try to avoid that area. Now we'll move it around again. Gosh, look at that. That would just make a beautiful scarf or a beautiful hat. Now these white plastic ornaments, excuse me, the shatterproof ornaments are a little bit smaller than the ones that I was just using. And these are on sticks, so these are much easier for me to do. That blue has a lot of uh, purple in it. It looks very lavender on this ornament. Yikes. I just touched that one. Let me turn this. All right. And these will not be glittered. These are just solid ornaments. They are turning out very pretty though. Okay. All right, I think I can do one more right over there. It's right here. I really like the ones on the sticks. They're so much easier. 
Look how pretty that turned out. Can you see it? Did I get it in there? It really does bring out the purple in that blue, doesn't it? So funny. Using the grays in the different uh, paints, you can tell which one has more brown, which one has more blue. You know, it's, uh, it's very fun to see the different bases that the colors have. Thank you, Margie. If I am missing some comments, I apologize. I'm not trying to ignore you. It's hard to uh, work and uh, keep up with the comments. All right. Again, I'm trying to get that right up against the edge. Do you see that? Just the white just comes right out from the side. Trying to think, I did a whole bunch of these for crafters convention. I'm trying to remember which color combination I really liked the best. Because there were a couple of them that were just gorgeous. They were all very pretty, but some of them stood out to me. Ornaments dripping on the table here. See how that white just keeps showing up? So I just kind of mix it right into the water. Let's try this blue and white. Just blue and white. Let's try that. Yeah, I do want to try the red and green again as well. Oh, you know, I haven't tried it in this other paint. Let's try that first. The trouble is getting a good red. And red wants to go pink, so I have to be very careful. Let me get a paper towel. You know, I cannot operate without a paper towel. And I've got bubbles, evil bubbles. I need to go dra grab my water, guys. I'll be right back. better. It's getting a little dry. Okay, now if I recall, this green is very, very pushy. Well, 
Look at that, just pushes everything right out of the way. There's a bubble. Okay, and now, so that doesn't look, that really looks pink. Actually, it, it all looks very pink. I cannot get a good red. When I first started doing this, I did not, um, label my reds and there are so many reds i mean can you tell me the difference between those two i can't even tell the difference let's try dabbing a little bit of this one in and see what happens look at that look at how pushy that one is so now i'll throw a little white in there and that is also making this other first one look more red. Good grief, look at my hands. What a mess. Okay, let's go with this and see what we end up with. Trying to really disperse that big glob of green out and mix some of the reds and the white in it. I have very little green up in this corner next to me, so I'll try to move some over there. I don't want to lose all the color definition though. If you move it too much, it gets to be very, very fine little lines, and it's not as much of a defined color. Okay, here we go. Let me get, I want to use this one over here. This is one I washed off last time. So let's do the red and green on it again. It may or may not cover it. Yeah, I can tell I don't like the way that looks already. So it's going back into the trash. All right, let me use these over here. See how pink that looks? It's funny because on the other one, it looked more, it looks more uh, maroon. And maybe as it dries a little, it'll get darker. I have noticed that on some of them. Okay, one more. And I can see the paint is really pulling away here. Hi, 
carry. Um, I can. That's called over marbling. I, I've tried it on the ornaments and it does not look good. That's kind of why I threw this other one away. Because you can see he, right here on this line, there's a line of green right there. That's where it was over marbled. And I just don't like it. I think it just looks awful. So, okay, we're done with this one. I have three in that colorway. So I have two gold ornaments over here. What have we not done yet? What, what's going to look good on the gold? It's, let me turn this. You'll hear them all rattle. They're like this. Blue, blue and gold. Oh yeah, I was gonna do the dark blue before I did the red and green, wasn't I? That might look pretty on there, or maybe even a lighter blue. Hey, Joni, I didn't see you sneak in. I have some silver ornaments that I haven't prepped yet. I don't know if I'm gonna get to them. I'm just running out of time. Yeah, I just did red and green. I didn't do red and gold yet. These are, most of these, not all, of these ornaments I'm going to glitter the inside of. This is one of the ornaments I prepared last week, Carrie. I'm sorry, it's all backwards to me. I've had the camera flip, so I don't know which way I'm turning. All right, I'm going to have to move these. I keep knocking them over. So I was going to use this dark blue here. This dark blue and white on that gold. The wine glasses are looking very pretty. Look at all that. Look at all that white that came back out there. I'm picking colors and the white is just taking over my tank. I know I'm gonna add white back in, but I like to start with a nice clean paint. All right, here we go. I lied. There's a big old bubble there. See if I can just get one drop. Yeah. Of course I had to get blue or two of them in the last one. Now I've got blue all over the tip of the white. You can move the paint any way you want to. And if you have not uh, sprinkled the video out, I would appreciate that. Still trying to grow my page. 
All right, let's try that. So I have one big one left over here. And then I have three big ones down below. I just have these plastic bins that I use some spray foam in. Yeah, on the inside I do. Glitter them on the inside. But I have these spray foam or bins that I put spray foam in and I just stick the uh, skewers in there and I rest, oh my gosh, that's beautiful. Look at that one. Put some silver glitter or some white glitter in that. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. All right. This one is a glass one. openings in the top of these glass ones are so much smaller that it's hard to hold on to it, not touch the part that's been marbled, and um, slip it onto the, the uh, stick. I was holding one of these ornaments the other day, prepping it, and holding it just like this, and the whole... Um, Neck broke off right in my hand. There we go. I have to make sure that none, nothing's touching anything. So now the, the bulbs that are already down there aren't touching the others. Let's try one of these gold ones. I don't have a paper towel with me. Guess it helps if I get it in the... Uh, in the actual view for, of the camera, huh? Oh my gosh, that's pretty. Let's see. I think I'm gonna do, I want, well, maybe I won't. Okay, so let's clean this off. That was a winner. I really, really, really like those colors together. That was a very pretty one. And you know, when I seal these, I get so excited because the colors just pop when um, they look a little dull once they get dry. And oh my gosh, when I put the sealer on them, the color just brightens right up. It's so much fun. So what I'm gonna do is tear one of these sheets real narrow so I can uh, lay it right in here and help stop some of that, the paint that wants to float back out. If I can capture most of it.
I've made a glorious mess. That did pick up some of the teal that was wrestled from the side. Okay, maybe once more. So, hello, Donna. <laughs> Do glass in the blue? I did. The, um, the one I did before the gold was a glass. Oh, you mean a, a wine glass? I don't have any more. And out of wine glasses. That would be pretty, though. Oh, you know what? I know what I need to do. Let's see. Oh, my crimson and gray are looking good. So now I need to do... Let's try, where'd my white go? Our, our university here in uh, Boise is Boise State University. They are orange and blue. Not a big fan of orange, unless it's with the yellow, you know, and like we did the wine glasses, I can handle it there. Let's see if the blue and the orange want to play nicely together. Orange is very fickle in this paint brand. Sometimes it works, sometimes it does not. This is acrylic paint. I'm floating on the water. And I just know somebody's going to say, that's not the right blue, but I can't help it. Pretty close. Oh, look at they are playing nicely. I think that's good. You going to bed, dear? Mm -hmm. Are we ahead? Hubby's off to bed. He has to get up at 4.15, so. So if you notice, I'm doing my back and forths just a little bit wider. I'm gonna comb this one. Hello, Julie, welcome. For any of you who are new, my name is Linda Anderson. I own Aqueous Silk. I am a water marbling artist. And right now we are doing Christmas ornaments. We did wine glasses earlier and a wooden letter. water running all over my table from these ornaments dripping. Okay, let me get another paper towel. I go through a ton of paper towels. Okay. That'll be very pretty with some white glitter in it. This is just a plain white plastic one. very careful when I'm putting the wet ornaments next to the dry ornaments if the wet ones get I mean if the dry ones get wet they won't marble
see. Do you think I, I think I can get one more right there. Go Broncos. Yes. I am a fan of any Idaho team. When I lived in California, I would cheer for all of them. And pretty much I still do. I like to see our state well represented. But um, Boise State, since everybody down here is a big Bronco fan, of course, then I have to go, well, but I, I'm a, a Vandal fan, so... I have to be the sticky wig wicket in the mess, of course. And if uh, the time WSU came and played them, I of course had to cheer for WSU. Because I grew up just about 24 miles from Pullman. In Idaho, but still right there. That piece of paper came out looking really pretty. My water is getting old. I can tell that it's getting old. Not only can I smell it, it is um, the, I call that when you see the white all break up or the other colors break up, I call that fracturing. So my paint is fracturing very quickly. So I only have one, two, three. Let's see if I can count. Here we go with the numbers, guys. I have five, six ornaments left, and then we are done for the night. And then I get to clean up the mess. You know what I should do? Did I do? I did purple and yellow. The There's another college in uh, the town that's even closer to me than in Boise. It's in Caldwell, and it's called um, College of Idaho. And their colors are purple and white. I just don't know if I want to try this dark purple if it's going to run. I don't think I'm brave enough today to try that. All right, what have we not done yet? Any suggestions? <laughs> Any color suggestions? How much are the ornaments? Um, a set of three, which is one big one, two small ones, is $12. And um, if you get all, if you want to buy them individually, the large ones are $4 and the small ones are $3. Pink and yellow. Oh, that might be pretty. I have one gold um, ball left. One gold and four clear. No, five clear. Math. I, do, I have my slippers on. I can't use my toes to count. So I have one, one uh, gold one. They are so pretty. Dark green and white on the gold. All right, let's give it a try. I'm gonna section this off since I'm only gonna do one in that color.
green and white. Mine, maybe I'll just do a full one and do several. Yeah, I'm not making very my sets very well. I made a lot of the teal and blue. Probably individually will be the best way to purchase if you want to. Let me know what colors you're interested in. Um, I need to get all the photos and put them on Etsy. Oh, good Lord, when am I going to have time? Actually, if you want one of the colors, let me know now because I will take them to my um, show this weekend. And I can't tell you what's going to sell and what's not. Hello, Steve Moon. Welcome. It's so odd how the phone shows me one thing. And uh, the iPad shows doesn't show me that. See if this will this will uh, expand or if it's just going to sink. Had to have one that wasn't very exciting, didn't I? This is one of my newer colors, so it may need a little bit more coaxing. I still have my leather bracelets to finish out. Yeah, it's growing slowly. The blue and white that I did tonight. I have one big one. Do you want the gold one too? Lee, do you want the gold one? Because I have a, a one large one and two small um, two small ones. And then I have one uh, smaller gold one with the blue and white. The clear ones still need to be glittered. So I just need to be patient with this one. I forgot I had this dark green. So let me give this a chance to, I have some bubbles, so let me get those. But let me give this green a chance to expand. It's moving very slowly, but it is expanding. It's not sitting with those little dots like that gray was. I'm so anxious. I want to get in there and get moving that paint around. Okay, so that would be uh, 12 $15 total. Uh, message me, Lee, what you want, and then I can send you an invoice. I'll probably send it tomorrow. I need your email address. Yes, perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Okay, here we go. All right. Let me get I'm going to have to turn my tray around here. Well, I have some little white ones to do, too. I have four little white ones to do that I haven't got done. All right. 
I had to turn this around so I didn't drip any of the uh, water on the ones that are not done yet. I didn't want to reach over. Now this green doesn't seem, oh, maybe it's okay. It looks like it wants to run a little bit right there. Let's see what it looks like after it dries. And again, that paint was pretty thick, so that could be, could be why. Okay, this one is a glass one. Oh, I forgot to get myself a paper towel. Oh, and I just dripped on one of them. Okay, so that one will have to wait. So I can do one more little one. I was, what I was trying to avoid. Let me get a paper towel before I... That one looks pretty good. That one was kind of hanging out over the carpet. I had to readjust it. Okay, let's get this green out of here. So I have a one more big one and four little white ones. Thank you, Margie. And then I have, oh, I was gonna do the gold one in here. Totally space that out. Let's try the other green. green should we try this green a lime green Any suggestions for the last five ornaments? Grinch green. <laughs> Is that, it's not really Grinch. It's kind of Grinchy. We'll try it. Napkin. Forget what I'm reaching for here. The purple and yellow remind me of LSU. Where's Craig? I made you some LSU balls of ornaments. Now let's see how this guy's going to perform. Still pretty thick.
it's really pretty. Let's see if it just had separated. No, it's just thick. Let me add a little bit of water to it. I'm going to trip over my trash bucket. I did find, if you haven't watched, I found that I can use um, Ceramcoat paints. I have not yet done a whole bunch with that, but I tested the orange. I now have white, and I think I bought a couple other colors last time I was at Hobby Lobby. They, too, are not mixed yet because I don't have... Um, Bottles. I need to order bottles. I think that's the story of my life. I say I need to order about a million times a day. Okay, let's see if this improves it at all. Definitely a little thinner, not a lot. Okay, I definitely want to wait for it to, to dissipate those dots because that on the uh, gray and add a little bit of light blue to that. And the, when I did the gray, it had the centers like that, and that's where it came out all chunky. The paint colors on the surface will never blend together. You can drop them one on top of the other. If I drop these colors together outside um, of the tank, they would definitely blend and create a new color. So both of these are taking a little bit, uh, a little while to expand. Come on, paint, we don't have all night. I was just going in to pop a bubble and it popped. There we go. I'm just going in here and swirling that little glob. See if I can get it to uh, dissipate. I don't have the patience to stand here and wait for it. Those two colors. See, the blue didn't do too bad, but that um, the green is way too heavy. Try not to touch the blue yet. I'm just trying to dissipate those little globs. If you take your utensil and you push straight down, that will take out whatever color is right there. 
And so I'm taking out some of that green where it doesn't want to break up. All right, let's see how this looks. And again, I don't mind if there are areas where there is no um, paint because that just gives the glitter a place to show through on the ones I can glitter, that is. Oh, this could be very pretty. Is everybody getting tired of watching me do this? Okay, this is the last big one. Now I'm wondering, that green was still pretty heavy, so we might have some of that running on that one. Let's try the glass one. Oh, I can't do that glass one. So let's do the gold one. Okay, let's see if I can get this one over here without disturbing ones that are already marbled. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to like these. I don't think I'm going to do those white ones. I'm going to do a different color. So I'm not liking the way this looks already. That green is just too heavy. It was a fun thought, but it just isn't mixed right for this. Oh, I'm getting tired, you guys. Tired. So let's do... Um, Let's do these little ones. I have four white ones, and let's do it in white and this um, violet color. I've got to get this green out of here, though. That could be challenging. Yeah, this this uh, water is definitely ready to uh, empty. When I first started, I would empty the water after every uh, time I marbled. I do empty it into bottles and put it back in the refrigerator, but I literally threw it away. And the uh, seaweed powder is quite expensive. So I finally learned that you can use it many times and save a little bit of money. Need to get those bubbles out of there. Okay. Some little ones up here, but we'll deal with it. I feel like I've gone through a half a roll of uh, paper towels tonight. See, that's, that expands right. 
Thank you for being here, Colleen. Good night. Rest well. Hopefully on Saturday I'll say hi from the show. Thank you. This will be it. I can get all four little white ones out of this one tank. Navy blue with that would be pretty, do you think? I don't really have a true navy. I have an indigo, and it always comes out, well, that might be pretty with this. Because it comes out looking a little purple, and since I have a little bit of purple here, Look how much stronger that is than the, whew, just dropped it right on the table, than the purple, the violet that I was using. And I'm just trying to move some of that blue because I didn't, didn't want a lot of blue in there. Look how much lighter that blue looks. Trying very hard not to touch any of the other ones. That looks like candy to me. They look like jawbreakers. This is a great combination. It does look like candy. All right, one more. Where am I going to put it? Right here. Just a second, I saw a question, but I have my hands full of water. All right, let me see if I can see that question. Hi, Donna. Thank you, Brenda. Yeah, I do too. Um, yes, they, I have, I've been working tonight with plastic and glass. I actually marbled some wood. It was not an ornament. It, it could be a wreath attachment or whatever. Um, but yes, I've done plastic and glass today. I've also done wine glasses. So if you want to hold on, I'll close your eyes if you get seasick. I'll pull you down from the stand and I'll show you everything we did tonight. Okay, sorry about that. Round and round we go, sorry. Okay, there's what's left over in the tank. So these are the teal, the blue, there's a red and green in the back. There's that green and blue one. Hi, Vanessa, that red and, or that blue and green one. See how that really ran? 
I'm not liking that one at all. And when I seal these, the colors just pop out. All of the ones that are clear, like these, um, this one, and that one, and then there's one over there. Any of the clear ones will have, thank you, Donna, will have, um, excuse the mess, excuse the mess, um, glitter in them. And here's the ones, now, I'm going to have to switch it around, guys. I can't do this. There we go. Um, these are the ones we just did. And there are, there's an, that's the purple one we did at first. See how that ran kind of? I don't like it. I don't have crisp lines. See how this one has nice crisp lines? So the Broncos, there's a blue one. That's clear. That will have uh, glitter. There's the green ones. They're not looking too bad. There's the one that I dripped on. I can't use. I have to clean it and do again. I'm going to see if I can clean these off. And then if I can get out of the light. There's the purple and yellow. And the red and crimson. I mean the crimson and gray. And then there's the wine glasses. So I won't touch any of those until I um, until everything is dry I may take um, this one and the little one like that and see if I can wash that off or if just a rinse will help get some of that off see there I have a a wreath I made out of tool sitting over there Hey, look, the, even the Dixie cup has the orange and blue on it. I'm just set. I guess I'm supposed to do Bronco stuff. But anyway, sorry. I hope I'm not making anybody sick. Let me turn it back around here. I don't know how. There we go. That was my messy corner. Okay, guys. That is all I'm going to do for tonight. Thank you, Brenda. It was a lot of fun. And I'm going to get this mess cleaned up and get ready to go to bed. Uh, 5 a.m. is wake-up time for me tomorrow and head back to the office. So I hope you enjoyed tonight. And um, I thank you for being here. And I thank you for following my page. Thank you, Lee. I'll look for your message. Thank you, Margie. And um, if you have not done so, please like and follow my page. And... Um, Oh, great. Thank you, Donna. Be sure to follow my page. I go live every Monday night. Thank you, Ramona. Thank you for the hearts, everyone. I appreciate it. Have a great week. I hope to see you later this week. I have a show Saturday, so if I can get myself together and set up, I'll come on and say hi. All right, guys. Bye.